Hey everybody, it's the Fobra here. If uh, if you had watched my last video, the one where I thanked uh, thanked everybody for my 300 subscriber, um, you might have known or noticed that uh, I picked up a Drift Innovation uh, stealth camera, HD 170, and uh, it just came. So I figured I'd do dark flight. I'm sorry I didn't uh, pull out my monster uh, machete Ginsu blade knife. So I just actually split it open. But I did open it up to show you what I got. Because I didn't get everything but the kitchen sink. Pretty nicely packed. We have here the Drift Innovation rear silicone cover. And I'm going to need that because I picked up, of course, the external microphone. I also went for the uh, suction cup mount. I figured that would be great to have uh, something that I always wanted with whatever setup I'm going to do. Wow, th this does look great. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the HD Stealth HD 170 Drift Innovation Camera. So looking forward to getting this. Um, Everybody tells me that it's so light they can't believe it. And wow, I, I gotta tell you, this thing weighs next to nothing. Alright, so what we have here is my Scorpion EXO 400 <clears throat> uh, helmet. And, uh, and I'm gonna talk about how I mounted it to the helmet, how I mounted the drift. And I actually used um, 808 YouTube's setup video, which I will link somewhere around here. Uh, I'm talking about how she mounted it to her helmet and they supply you with two pieces of uh, heavy duty velcro and I put it right here as you can see on the right hand side of the helmet <clears throat> I used the really soft stuff and I kept the rougher material for this helmet mount and what's great about it is you, you're not you can stick it right on there you're not married to it you can rotate it a little bit but there's really no need because when you attach this clip right here a quick clip it'll clip right in and there you go and if you don't like the angle that you're using you simply loosen it a little bit turn it to the angle you want tighten it down lock it in and now you're like that I don't know I mean I don't write like that but it's a really trick feature um, it did come with two pieces of double stick tape should you want to do it that way um, uh, the great thing is I have a lot of friends who have these, the Drift, and I can kind of call upon them and ask for their experiences, share their knowledge and stuff like that. Um, if you remove this, there's a standard quarter inch female thread on the underside of the camera, and that will more work with most um, camera mounting systems, including the suction cup that I spent uh, additional for. Um, I didn't get everything but the kitchen sink, I know a lot of people go for that. I didn't feel I needed everything. I have the standard battery. What's great about it is here, let's say, lock it in. And then you can do all sorts of adjustments. It's so cool. I mean, there's tons of things. And I'm going to show you how I mounted it on the bike for a couple of the shots that I used in uh, the Thank You for 300 Subscribers video. Okay, just snug this up and it kind of locks it in place. It's really a solid piece. I mean, it's got the but it's got a button to release and things like that. So anyway, as you can see, you lock that in, you put that on, and she ain't going anywhere. Real solid on there. Um, the back of the unit here, quick release tab, and you can see here's my SDHC card that I popped in. I put I put an eight gig in here. Uh, here's the standard battery. I didn't go for the uh, optional. The, extended battery. Then you have two inputs here. You have one for your external microphone if you chose it and one for your mini USB charger. Uh, I did go for the external microphone. You have to get recommendations from friends and uh, what's cool about it is it plugs right in, it's on, and then you have to get, well you don't have to, but you should get the optional um, Rear silicone cover to keep the elements out of it. So essentially, what you're going to have, and I have 
to adjust the angle a little bit, but what you're gonna have is this with a clip, and here's your external microphone. You stick it right on there, and uh, that's the setup I'm pretty much gonna be going with. I put the uh, breath card back in my XO400, which I had taken out because I had the blog in here. Um, can't wait to play around with this. The interface on the HD170, and this is the Stealth, which is the same thing I think as the HD170, but this is the Stealth that's black as opposed to orange. Turns right on. It's got a nice screen. You can see, you can oh there you go, you can see it. Um, it gives you an idea of what you're looking at, and you can go through the menu and set up options. I tell you the truth, it was very intuitive. I did have the quick the quick um, quick start guide, but um, you know I didn't you didn't really need it. And right now I'm shooting it at 720p, 60 frames per second. There you go. I do have the remote control right here, which doesn't have to be pointed to the device to record it. You can feel it's it's raised for the record. You hit that, it'll start recording, and to stop it. It stopped and it shuts right off. Uh, really nice feature. Power it down, press and hold, it shuts down. When it's all the way opened, quite honestly, it's not big enough for a wrist. Um, I tried putting it, it, it'll fit over one's wrist, like, you know, bare skin, but with my jacket on, no way, and forget about it with my gauntlet gloves. Uh, but I was talking to a couple of friends of mine and what they had said that uh, they either tie it to, the, to some part of the bike or they. Um, just stick it in their pockets, and they can pull it out. And that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put it in my pocket, my jacket pocket. When I need it, I'll hit it. If I don't, I don't. Um, but uh, overall, I do love the, the, the remote and uh, the idea of not having to jump off the bike and turn it on and off. Hey, everybody. So uh, this is the first shot of uh, getting the uh, helmet cam to work. Uh, it's mounted right now to the side of my helmet, and uh, quite honestly... I, I don't even feel the additional weight. Uh, I got my visor up right now. Um, so this is the audio. Right now my microphone sensitivity is on one. And uh, this is my visor down. So I'm hoping this audio comes out pretty good. Um, I said one of the great things about uh, this camera is... Um, because a, a, a lot of people that I talk to actually have one like Dark Flight 600, 808 YouTube... Wild Bill 1006, uh, Boostosaurus Rex, and Buso is the one who actually recommended the one, the one mic setting. So uh, I hope this will work out. Obviously, I'm not on the bike right now, but I'm hoping that, um, you know, when I do get out of the bike, this will give me good audio. Um, I do like this. It, it feels good so far. I'm, I'm very anxious to try it out as a helmet. Like I said, I, I did have it on the bike, and I'll put a little bit of, of how I used it on the bike already. And uh, with the remote, which I have on my hand here, it's as easy as just hitting the button, and it's off. Here's a mounting option for the drift. Uh, with the suction cup mount, you can mount it. I mounted it straight to the windscreen, and I angled it right up to the uh, to the rider. And uh, this is the uh, setup that I used on my last video, the thank you for 300 subs and somebody's watching me video. And I'll put the footage right here for you to see. Here's another option you can uh, that's available to you when you mount to mount your Drift uh, HD 170, and that's the suction cup mount. Uh, it didn't come with the camera. It was I ordered it as an option, and you can see that I've rotated the lens to give me a nice uh, well, hopefully it's a nice image. And this is actually suction cup to the bottom of the fairing on my F4. Um, I got to be honest with you. I'm, I was I was riding. I kept looking down to make sure it was still there because I'm, you know, since I just got this thing, I'm deathly afraid of it falling but from what I understand from other people it's pretty darn strong. Mounting options seem to just be limited by um, your imagination and whatever mounting hardware you have available. Once again with the suction cup um, this gives me a nice straight shot through the windscreen. I'm definitely going to be using this one. Uh, you loosen it up a little bit and you can see you have full range of motion in two places plus it rotates uh, side to side plus on top of that you have this the lens so um, this is definitely something else I'm going to be trying out well there you go I hope that sheds a little light on the uh, on the drift and uh, I'm looking forward to making some vids with it all right hope that helps you see ya